prep up. Step up, prep up. To help keep you free from the risk of HIV. From the makers of Truvada, a new prep option. Descovi for prep. A once daily prescription medicine that helps lower the chances of getting HIV through sex. It's not for everyone. Descovi for prep has not been studied in people assigned female at birth. Talk to your doctor to find out if it's right for you. Step up for health and body. Prep up for your one and only love. Or many loves. For kings, this queen, and you royals in between. For my now. Our now. And my future. Our future. Step up, prep up. Discovy is the newest way to prep. Discovy does not prevent other sexually transmitted infections, so it's important to use safer sex practices and get tested regularly. You must be HIV negative to take Discovy for prep, so you need to get tested for HIV immediately before and at least every three months while taking it. If you think you were exposed to HIV or have flu-like symptoms, tell your doctor right away. They may check to confirm you are still HIV negative. Serious side effects can occur, including kidney problems and kidney failure. Rare life-threatening side effects include a buildup of lactic acid and liver problems. The most common side effect was diarrhea. Tell your doctor about all the medicines and supplements you take, or if you have kidney or liver problems, including hepatitis. If you have hepatitis B, do not stop taking Discovy without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor about your risk of HIV, and have Discovy for prep is right for you. Words are loud, but actions are louder. Step up. Prep up. With Discovy for prep. Get help paying for Discovy for prep. Learn more at stepupprepup.com. What is happening, good people? First off, I'd like to say thank you all for being here this evening. And you know what? I never noticed how much programming is in HIV commercials. I mean, wasn't that just ridiculous? What? Okay, so as you sit and watch that commercial, I couldn't tell who's male or female. Then they're talking about if you were assigned female at birth. <sighs> then the hand signs. Yeah, so we are here to talk about a potentially sensitive subject. I just thought I'd go live and just knock this out the ballpark. I'm not gonna do it so much like a hangout. I'm not gonna spend so much time in the chat. So I am going to address everybody right now, though, for what I can. And then I'm going to hop into the subject matter and explain to you guys why are we talking about this this evening? So we got Ed in the house. Ed was the first person to hop in the chat talking about I've been studying for the STDs in preparation for this live stream. Here's hoping for positive results with a taco. Really, Ed? Really? All right, so we got my girl Miss Maskless in the house. There go my twin. We got Reed Romans Tien. How you doing? We got Rob G. Cinch man up in this piece. How you doing, homie? We got Faith or Waither in the house. Good serving. Good to see you. Oh, it's time to tune in for Mac TV up in this house. Oh, we got Fauci the con man. Oh my goodness, the honorable Doctor Fauci is up in the house, and we just so happen to be talking about the STD to rule them all. Hmm. All right. Let's see who else up in this piece. Oh, we got Oso in the house. We got Wernley in the house. How y'all doing? Jennifer. We got Jennifer in this piece. I'm just so glad to see everybody. We got Silly Fan Man up in the house. We got Silly Fan Man. Yeah. Got to stay positive. That's right. So yeah. So I thought I'd come on here and just do this since I got some time. I still don't have my daughter. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go live. Yeah. Since man talking about I got negative results on my IQ test, man. Y'all, y'all comments are distracted. I'm gonna stop looking. So, yeah. Have y'all noticed that the AIDS slash HIV narrative is kind of popping back up into the news? Like it's kind of just prevalent with the whole scamdemic that we find ourselves in and the CV19 and all of that, blah, blah, blah. Do y'all remember in the first wave that people were testing positive for both? And then they called them false positives. So during this live stream, I'm going to try my best to tiptoe around these phrases to avoid the censorship police. Oh, Shulamite, how you doing? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. So let's go ahead and hop into this. Now, for starters, what I wanted to do before I get into the main subject of this video I want to show you guys another commercial uh, with programming that I noticed. I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Hold on, let me let me set up this uh, screen share real quick. 
we're gonna do that we're gonna share the audio there we go bada boom bada bing up in this piece there we go and ah so we've got first off i'm gonna show this commercial here hang on i'm gonna sh i'm gonna hit pause right now. so i'm gonna show this commercial right here so this made me think about how they're doing the at-home testing for the scamdemic. So let's go ahead and just watch this commercial. This is an, uh, a throwback HIV commercial. Let's just, just take a look at this. I've never been tested for HIV. I should be. Everyone should be. So I'm going to get an HIV. Everyone should be. It's just like they're just, just tooting the same horn. So let's go. This commercial is from 96. Test right now. Watch me. Call this toll-free number now to order an HIV test kit, an important new product developed for our times by Home Access Health. It includes everything you need to get accurate, anonymous results in three days. The kit arrives discreetly with an ID code number that guarantees privacy. First, you do a simple finger stick. It's quick, easy. Then you put your sample in the prepaid delivery packet and send it to our certified lab for the same tests your doctor would order. Three business days later, call a toll-free number and get your results using your ID code number. Your number, not your name. If you wish, you can speak with a counselor trained to answer questions and offer guidance. But that's up to you. Home access. It's fast. It's easy. It's accurate. And it's nobody's business but your own. This test costs $49.95. HIV testing is part of life today. So go to your doctor, go to your clinic, or just go to your phone and call 1-800-HIV-TEST. I'm okay. I'm okay. Home access. Making you feel right at home. All right. So as you can see the uh, disgusting programming in this commercial, this made me think of the masks that are getting mailed to the house your test kits or the cv are getting mailed to your house and you can have cv with no symptoms so this lady clearly is not sick no symptoms but you know everybody must get tested so you know i don't you just see the correlation here you know i just never just sat and just put it together so now what i want to do this evening is show you some predictive programming from a movie called team america world police and what I noticed when I started to look into the movie, I noticed a lot of numer numerological programming no with the number 19, number 33, number 15, just all over the place. Yeah. So before I get into Team America World Police, I wanted to show you guys a one more commercial. One more commercial. On one more commercial. When you have trouble falling. Let me see. That's not it. Uh, I'm on the pill. I'm on. Here we go. So if I seem a little nervous, it's been a minute since I did like a live decode like this. So I'm like, my vibe is kind of off. I got to kind of fall back into this. So my apologies. But this Truvada commercial right here was very interesting. We're going to go ahead and watch this one. And then I'm going to hop into the Team America clip. And then I'm going to do the breakdown and show you the point of doing all of this. So check this out. On the pill. I'm on the pill. I'm on the pill too. But it's not birth control. It's Truvada for PrEP, a once daily prescription medicine for adults that when taken every day, along with using safer sex practices, can help lower my chances of getting HIV through sex. I use condoms, but I talked to my doctor about doing more. He said that because I had- All right, so on this particular scene right here, what do you see? I noticed it right away. We've got now playing 2 30 p.m the number 23 and we know that's symbolic 5 15 p.m 15. what do we got what's 15 y'all i tell people this all the time uh, 15 is the 15th tarot card the devil tarot card that's 15. so i'm going to show you some 15s in the movie decode i'm about to do that's 15. i saw it in this commercial like wow you can't be serious. In addition to the number 15, you've got 8 p.m. That's meta. That's the meta symbol. That's infinity. Then you've got 1045 p.m. is the next showing. 1045. What do you got? 
Four plus five is nine. Plus 10 is 19. Okay. I'm just looking at this commercial like you. You can't make this stuff up, but they most certainly can. So I'm going to go ahead and play the rest of the commercial just so you can just get a feel of all the programming in these commercials. But yeah, we've got the number 23. We've got the 15th tarot card. We've got the meta symbol. We've got the number 19 all across this uh, moniker right here. I had a higher chance of getting HIV through sex. Truvada for PrEP could be an option for me. She also told me that Truvada alone may not keep me from getting HIV and it does not prevent other STIs or pregnancy. You must be HIV negative to take Truvada for PrEP. So you need to get- Oh, hang on. Also says she saw a halo over his head. I paid no attention to that. See? Yeah, team effort. Teamwork making that dream work. Let me see she also go back. told me that Truvada- Because I had a higher- Oh yeah, right here. Uh-huh, absolutely. And I bet it's 19 lights. If I were to count these lights up under here, I bet it's 19. I kind of don't feel like it, but the lights up under that moniker, I bet it's 19 of them. Chance of getting HIV through sex, Truvada for PrEP could be an option for me. She also told me that Truvada alone may not keep me from getting HIV, and it does not prevent other STIs or pregnancy. You must be HIV negative to take Truvada for PrEP. So you need to get tested for HIV immediately before and at least every three months while taking Truvada. I wanted to know about all of my preventions. So you have to keep getting tested. What else do you have to keep getting tested for? And these people don't even have it. They're just doing it just because. Options. So I asked my doctor about Truvada for PrEP. And as, as you watch this commercial, you can't tell who's male or female. It's just androgyny all over the place. If you think you were exposed to HIV or have flu-like symptoms, tell your doctor right away. They may do more tests to confirm you are still HIV negative. Serious side effects can occur, including kidney problems, kidney failure, and bone problems, which may lead to fractures. Rare life threat. Oh, Ms. Master said red door. Oh, Faith Faither said red door. That's right. And they showed the soccer ball. So soccer ball is what? Acrenochrome? Uh-huh. The PrEP acronym is pretty interesting. Prepping for what? Absolutely. So y'all, y'all just all going in, going in. Yeah, that, that's why I felt like doing this live because, you know, have truly excellent people following following my channel. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Let me stop pausing. Sorry, y'all. Any side effects include a buildup of lactic acid and liver problems. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding or if you have kidney, bone or liver problems, including hepatitis. If you have hepatitis B, do not stop taking Truvada without talking to your doctor. Common side effects include stomach pain, headache and weight loss. Ask your doctor about your risk of getting HIV and if Truvada for PrEP may be right for you. I wanted to do more. Stomach pain, headache, and weight loss. I mean, like, isn't, aren't those the sim well, alleged symptoms of HIV, but you just get it from this medication instead? So I'm, ah, the correlation is just amazing, y'all. That's why I'm on that pill. Truvada for PrEP. All right. So, yeah, that's that. Now, the main clip I wanted to get into. So the point of me doing this live stream tonight is the explosion of HIV that's happening right now. And it's, it's popping right back up in the news. And I believe it's happening from uh, the toxination. Yeah. So the toxination has the inserts of this virus, you know, within it. So you know, I'm going to try my best to talk around, you know, the, 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 the hot button words. So Team America World Police has a major piece of programming within this entire thing. This is what made me look this movie up and look up this entire subject matter. So I'm going to pull this up, man. Y'all have to pay, pay attention to this clip right here. This is from Team America World Police. Now, the name Okay, so this is this is coming from a song of a stage play. The scene of this movie was a musical, and everybody in the mo in the movie. If if you haven't seen this movie, every character in this movie is a marionette doll, a puppet. So it's not like you know, it's voice actors in the movie. It's not like actual actors you see on screen. So the name of the musical is Lease. When I saw the word Lease, you know what that make you think of? You know, our buddy Klaus Anel Schwab. You know, own nothing and you'll be happy. But the name of this musical is Lease. Listen to the lyrics of the song of this musical. Everyone has AIDS. 
So this is the end of our story, and everyone is dead from AIDS. It took from me my best friend, my only true pal, my only bright star. He died of AIDS. Well, I'm gonna march on Washington, lead the fight and charge the brigades. There's a hero inside of all of us. I'll make them see everyone has AIDS. My father, AIDS. My sister, AIDS. My uncle and my cousin and her best AIDS, friend, AIDS, AIDS. The gays and the straights and the whites and the spades. Everyone has AIDS. My grandma and my dog go blue. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. The Pope has got it and so do you. AIDS, 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 AIDS. Come on, everybody, we got quilting to do. AIDS, 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 AIDS. We're gonna break down these barricades. Everyone has AIDS, 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 AIDS,
the piece of production or programming release, it will always tell you a story. The 289th day of the year, that's 19 and 77. All right, so we can move on. Uh, let's take a look here. The runtime of the movie was 98 minutes. You got nine plus eight is 17. 17 is what, ladies and gentlemen? 17th letter of the alphabet. That is the Trump call. That's cute. And then the budget just so happened to be $32 million. May as well have been 33. But, you know, you're enlightened once you hit 32 as well. You, you, and you know, in the order of Freemasonry, the Scottish Rite Freemasonry, you know you're worshiping Lucifer at that point. You're, you're about high enough. You up there. Yeah. So that's the release date. Let me see. I took some notes just so I won't run all over the place. Let me take a look. We did the runtime. We did the budget. Okay. I'm checking my notes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here's another 19. As I was reading through the plot of the movie, there's a guy, the main character in the story is an actor. So the CIA hires this actor to infiltrate a terrorist unit, but the team that he joins is, you know, he, he's kind of he's kind of skeptical of the guy because he doesn't like actors. And the reason why he doesn't like actors is because the cast of a musical called Cats gang raped him when he was 19 years old. There's a 19. The musical was called Cats. So when I saw the name of the musical, this made me think of Sex Kitten Programming, MK Ultra, and how they gang rape the women in Hollywood. It, that's what it made me think about. And he just so happened to be 19 years old. So there's another 19. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, but they can. All right. I think there was something else I want to show y'all. I wrote all this stuff down. Yeah, we got that. So after I look at a few things for the movie, I like to look at the people who are associated with the movie. The director of this movie is Trey Parker. I thought I looked that dude up too. Trey Parker. And look, his initials are TP. What ran out during the first wave of CV? The toilet paper. TP. I just thought that was interesting. But yeah, anyway. So when you look up anybody that has anything to do with any kind of programming production, look at their date of birth. That's where you start. This guy was born on October 19th, 1969. Yeah. So look at the look at his date of birth though. October 19, TN19, 1019. That's literally 911 backwards. Mhm. Mm yep. It keeps going. So, he's currently 52 years old right now. 5 plus 2 is 7. Seven is a pretty significant in the number in the Bible. He was born in 1969. That's six and nines and sixes inverted just all over the place. So, yeah, that's this guy. So this stuff is happening on a spiritual level. Humans are not doing this. I am firmly convinced of that. What are the odds of all these 19s and the 15s being associated with this? So I'm going to take it one step further. All right. So let's consider... Do, 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 do. Seven's the number of completion. You haven't mentioned that. Let's consider this dude's date of birth and the release date of this movie. Let's consider the time, the length of time in between October 19th, 1969, and October 15th, 2004. Let's do a day calculator. I just all I did was plug these numbers in. Let's look at the calculations of the amount of time in between these two dates. The result was 12,781 days. So you got seven plus eight, you got the 15, then you got plus one is 16, 17, 18, 19. When you add all these numbers up, it's 19. There's another one. Then you got the time broken down in different units. It was 34 years, okay? That was almost 33, almost there. Then you got 11 months and 27 days. Two plus seven is nine, then you got an 11. There's another nine eleven. So you, you just you just can't make this up. This is happening on a spiritual level, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this is. That's what it's all about. So I wasn't going to do a very long live tonight, but um, this is what I wanted to point out to you about this. So I showed you the commercials. And on top of that, there's another video clip I want to show you. 
Do, 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 do. So in the middle of the scandemic, the FDA and whoever is doing all of this have been very busy at creating a toxone for HIV. And they have done it. Well, a preventative measure, I guess. So let's watch a little bit of this. I just thought this was important to show during all of this. But yeah, isn't that crazy? All those numbers associated with that? Let's check this out. There's a new drug available to help prevent people from getting HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. For the first time, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved an injectable treatment for those who may be or have been exposed to HIV. As RT contributor Molly Barrows explains, this latest drug and other medical advances are helping to overcome a disease that was once a death sentence. On Monday, the FDA approved the first HIV prevention injection drug called Apritude. Now, those at high risk for contracting the virus through sexual activity have the option of getting a regimen of shots instead of taking pills every day to reduce the risk of getting it. A taking toxones instead of taking pills every day. So, yeah, like that's much better. So there's just the programming just fed into everywhere. So they just want this regimen all the time. They want you taking toxones all the time, fully medicated. Oh, because it's so much easier. You know, they care about convenience. They care about you. According to the government agency's release, Apertude will be available to at-risk adults and teens who weigh at least 77 pounds to help significantly reduce their risk of getting HIV. Experts say it's a big step toward ending the epidemic because it's the first option that doesn't involve taking a daily pill. Quote, this injection, given every two months, will be critical to addressing the HIV epidemic in the U.S., said Dr. Deborah Binkrat, director of the FDA's Division of Antivirals. She went on to say, including helping high-risk individuals and certain groups where adherence to daily medication has been a major challenge or not a realistic option. Medical advances have now made it possible to treat and avoid getting HIV, a virus once considered a death sentence. According to WebMD, before treatments became available in the 1990s, life expectancy was 10 to 12 years for people who tested positive for HIV. Now they can live up to their early 70s. In 1995, 48,000 people died after being infected, making it the leading cause of death among Americans 25 to 44 years of age. In 2018, it claimed the lives of 6,000 people. Experts say education and awareness have also helped curb infection rates, but there is more work to be done. Of the more than 1 million Americans who have HIV... Oh, hang on. What were those numbers? But there is more work to be done. Oh, okay, never mind. There's a nine, though. Of the more than that was 1 19. million Americans who have HIV, 13% of them don't know it and need to. Yeah, 13. And the minimum weight of this treatment is 77 pounds. There goes the 11 times 7 again. Testing, according to government data. For those who are at risk, doctors say new treatments like Apertude can help put an end to the disease. The drug will be sent to U.S. distributors early next year. For RT, I'm Molly Barrows. Apertude. I wonder what that name is about. But yeah, I want to show you all that. So what's the deal with the race behind this? Are they expecting a big boom of this uh, infection? Are, you know, I'm not going to really speak on that because of censorship police, but y'all can kind of, you know, y'all kind of understand where I'm going with this. Yeah. So I just think this stuff is pretty crazy. How y'all feeling about it? Because that's, that's what it is. And in 2010, people all CV now. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Mac. People don't die of it anymore. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So why, why the focus on this again all of a sudden? Unless they're expecting something to come real soon. And you've got the programming in the movie. Everyone has AIDS. You know. Crazy, right? Give me a second. Let me just check my notes and see if I had anything else because I wasn't going to be lo alive long tonight. Uh, what's going to be on my... Da -da -da -da. Stand by.
Okay. All right. And I just thought about something with it being 2022, the movie released in 2004. What is that? 18 years? 18 is 666, right? Oh, boy. All right. So let's get into this last article I'm going to share. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this live because I wasn't going to, you know, be on here long. I want to make this real quick, short and sweet and just show you all those numbers real quick. But I thought it was a good idea to top this show off with this. Bill Gates of Hell claims he can stop future scamdemics. In an upcoming book, the Microsoft co-founder says, says that better toxones and pathogen surveillance can stop the next outbreak. The next one. They're just expecting it. He just knows. They always do the marionette bill. Like, you know, he talk with his hands. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know what he do. And I just thought it was interesting. The picture they decided to use for this article was taken on October 19th, 2021. I see that. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. So Microsoft co-founder and Toxone advocate Bill Gates of Hell has written a book outlining the lessons we can learn from CV-19, claiming that by investing in healthcare, Toxones, and global pathogen surveillance, they love the global word, Mac TV. You know, Mac TV know what I'm talking about. Another scamdemic like C-19 can be prevented. Gates announced the book in a blog post on Tuesday, due for release in May. The book will outline the specific steps we can take uh, to not only stop future scamdemics, but in the process, provide better health care for everyone around the world because we have voted for him to do this. We need him to come in and save us because he is an expert. Yeah. The software tycoon also promised to tell readers about his regular conversations with public health leaders like Anthony Scrouchy and Tedros the Turd Adenon, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name and to explain his view of the toxins that are and stemming that are stemming the tide. So this next portion of this article had me cracking up. RT, you know, controlled opposition, but sometimes they are so funny to me. That's why I stick with them. I like this international news source. But Gates of Hell, whose only qualification in medicine is an honorary one, has long been a proponent of eradicating disease through toxination. They just threw him all out there, just kind of just exposed him all away. Gates of Hell whose only qualification in medicine is an honorary one, has long been a proponent of eradicated disease through toxination. During the CV-19 scandemic, he became one of the world's leading advocates for toxones, regularly appearing on television. Oh, that gives him credibility because he regularly appeared on television to urge the public to get jabbed, even as the now dominant Omicron scariant emerged in the most toxinated countries worldwide, saw spikes in infections and deaths. Gates heralded booster seats as a key weapon in stopping the transmission of C-19. Yeah. Gates of Hell has also encouraged governments to prepare for future scandemics and biological attacks. What are you talking about, man? Unless you know this stuff is coming. <sighs> and biological attacks by funding germ games. What are germs ga germ games, y'all? I should have looked that up and put that in here too. All right. Something that will cost tens of billions of dollars. Prior to the outbreak of C-19, Gates funded such an exercise in 2019. There goes another, another 19. The exercise modeled the spread of a novel. Oh, they must be talking about Event 201. Novels and Nautic CV transmitted from bats to pigs to people. Yeah, that eventually infected 80 to 90 percent of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they just talked about their tabletop 201 war game on the people. Now we're living through the actual exercise. Yeah, the software magnet's involvement in the exercise, along with his stated goal of toxinating the world, has made him the target of numerous uh, C theories. In his blog post on Tuesday, Gates of Hell said his forthcoming book will explain what it's been like to become the subject of C theories. Yeah, you know all about that, don't you? Yeah, you and your husband. All right, so yeah, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. That's That's the reality we're living in completely designed by the beast that's what it is uh and for oh i'm, I'm just at the um I'm, I'm just all on the tail any of y'all comments but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, address the chat before i go ahead and cut out of here that's all i wanted to show y'all but these numbers are wild weren't they yep absolutely it he said the adult you're considering the day you're considering adult in america is 18 666 excellent point homie Excellent point. Yep. So we got Gregorius in the house. We got Tanya. Nice to see you, Tanya. We got Mary and Breen in the house. Isaiah. We got also 
Faither, I'm so glad you all decided to stop by and watch me rant about this real quick. And my homie, Matt TV, Scrouchy the Con Man. Yeah. We got Shadow Band for posting. Absolutely. Good to see everybody. So that's all I wanted to share. What y'all feel about that? Don't y'all think that's crazy? I mean, are they expecting something? Were they programming something? I just cannot help but to think that is the case with all of the numerology surrounding the movie. Now, I'm quite sure there's more scenes I could have showed, but I could not sit through that crap. I could not sit through that movie. Nope, not, not from being awakened. I used to watch it back in 2004. These are the creators of South Park, okay? So I was in the South Park, so I thought it was hilarious, you know? That's just what it was. Maybe it's in the... Yeah, I'm not even going to read your comment out loud, Marion Breen, but that's exactly the point I'm getting to. Everybody look at Marion's comment. That's exactly what I'm what I'm, alla what I'm alluding to. Oh, we got Steve Aloha in the house. How you doing, homie? How you doing? Good to see you. Yep, Jesus is King, Matt TV. You are absolutely right. But yeah, that's all, folks. That's all I want to share with you guys. I didn't want to make this live too long. I'm tired. And, you know, it just is what it is. So thank you all for watching. You know, be the change you want to see. Uh, you know, take it easy on the programming that you are absorbing because, you know, we are we are what we consume. We consume stuff like this. We become stuff like this. And that's just how it is. So I'm about to scoot on out of here. So with the paranoia is most certainly uncool. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this quick live. I just want to share my thoughts with you on that. So you all have a good evening. God bless. I love you all. Later.